Just how healthy is the battery in this 188,000 mile electric van? In the last video, I told you that I bought this 2018 Nissan ENV 200 that had more than 188,000 miles on the clock. Looking at the odometer now, the mileage is 188,125. So it has definitely been busy. And one of the most common questions people asked in the comments is, well, how is the battery health getting on? Uh, surely the battery's done for by now. Surely it needs a battery replacement. At this kind of mileage, you would absolutely be forgiven for having some concerns about the battery health. So how can we determine what kind of state it's actually in? Well, the ENV200, just like the Nissan LEAF, can be interrogated using an app called LeafSpy. It's a third party app, so it's not official Nissan endorsed, whatever. Uh, but what it can do is it can pull information out of the battery management system in the vehicle and it can tell you information about the state of health of the battery. And so that's what we're going to do today. In order to do that, you will need an OBD adapter like this one. Uh, there's a link in the description to th this particular one on Amazon. Uh, I've got an iPhone, so if you have an iPhone to use Leaf Spy, you need a OBD adapter that supports Wi-Fi. I believe Android users can get away with using a Bluetooth one, which is a little bit cheaper. But for iPhone, you need one like this, which was um, about 25, 30 quid, something like that. I think an Android one, probably like a 10 or something. But uh, this is what we need. And you plug this into the OBD diagnostic port in the van, and then you can connect to the Leaf Spy app on your phone. Uh, I there's I th I don't know if there's a free tier, but it's Leaf Spy Pro is the app that I've got. There's a one-off fee for that. I think it's about fifteen pounds. You need to pay as a one-off, and that then gets you unlimited use of the app. Which, given uh, quite a lot of EVs come through my hands and a decent proportion of them are Leafs, it's actually pretty useful for me. Uh, so we'll plug this in and we will see just what the battery health is doing. So there's a little bit of a setup step with this the first time you ever do it, but given I have used Leaf Spy before, you literally just open the app and it connects to the adapters pretty much straight away. So once you open the app, you're then presented with this screen which shows you a summary of the battery cells. So it shows you the voltage of each cell and information about state of health, um, how many times it's been rapid charged, how many times it's been L1 or L2 charged, which is like slower like AC charging, and what the voltage difference is between the cells uh, that can be quite an interesting uh, display of the actual health of the battery pack because a large difference would suggest you might have a cell or a module that is significantly weaker than others and that's the kind of thing we would maybe expect to see in something high mileage like this but as we can see here uh, the battery state of health is 83.56% so that means that the battery has 83.56% of its original capacity, which at this kind of mileage, I would say is actually pretty damn good. Um, I've seen older Leafs with a lot less miles on with a worse state of health than that. So I would say it's in pretty good health indeed. Um, so I think this is good news. I think an 83.56% state of health is actually way above what I think a lot of people would expect at this mileage. And it means that the battery is actually in pretty good health. If this was a lower mileage vehicle, it wouldn't even be getting to the point where the battery warranty would, would kick in and it would be deemed to have been degraded so, so much that it would need replacement. Uh, and therefore, you know, to be like that at this point, which, you know, I think a lot of people at this mileage would consider it to be end of life, uh, is doing very well indeed. And that would suggest to me that there is a good few miles left in it. Uh, I think any notion that the battery would need replacing in this one it, it, it is not there at all. Now, what will be quite interesting is to repeat this diagnostic at a lower state of charge. Because if you'll remember on the journey home, I saw that as we get to a sort of quite a low state of charge, it then starts dropping quite rapidly. That would suggest that there might be a little bit of wear to the pack that, that means that we're seeing a bit more imbalance at a lower state of charge. Uh, certainly at this sort of you know, uh, what's it currently charged to? 81%. Um, the, the difference between cells is like 28 to 30 millivolts, which is nothing really. That's sort of well within a kind of normal uh, range that we'd expect to see. 
uh, and there's nothing about it really that, that makes me think it's particularly unhealthy. Now, repeating that at a lower state of charge, I might see that that increases, in which case we'll be able to get a better idea of wh where that degradation is, is really taking hold in the battery pack. But on the whole, I'm pretty impressed with that. I think that's beyond my expectations and shows that even at really high mileage, I think I've done quite well here. And I think we might well be able to press this on to a much higher mileage indeed. One of the more staggering statistics I can see here in Leaf Spy is that this fan has been rapid charged 5,936 times. And uh, that is astonishing. Uh, that suggests to me that it was being plugged into a rapid charger having not actually done that many miles. So it, I, I'm, I'm guessing uh, whoever was using this was rapid charging it wherever they could now um as i said before it was the nhs northumbria that had this van and i'm guessing maybe um some of their key locations had rapids on site uh because for, for that to hold true i mean even at the mileage it's done 5900 rapid charges is a huge amount i mean that's it's been it's been being plugged in every sort of 30 40 miles uh, so I'm guessing it was, you know, not being run down to zero and then rapid charged. It was actually being used a little bit and then plugged in probably because that was the location that had the rapid or whatever. Uh, that is a shock. That is pretty astonishing, I would say. I, I think of anything that Leaf Spy has presented me with, the number of rapid charges it's had is probably the biggest shock. But all in all, I'm quite happy with that. And I think you will agree that state of health is quite a surprise. I wasn't expecting it. Um, and I think that probably means we'll have a usable range of about 90 miles-ish. Uh, I think that's probably on the money. Uh, the one thing that worries me a little bit is that the guessometer seems wildly out of touch with reality. So uh, at the moment, charged to 81%, it tells me I can do 128 miles. And we know that that's not true. We, we we definitely have found that that isn't true. So I'm not sure. I wonder if it may, maybe needs a software update or something like that. I don't know. Um, it's going into Nissan uh, later this week for an aircon service. Because I said when I picked it up, the aircon wasn't really working properly. Um, I wouldn't, the main dealer wouldn't be my first choice place to take it. However, they charge pretty much the same for an aircon service as what it costs for a regas at like fast fit type places. And at least we know that Nissan are going to know how to regas it. Whereas places that primarily do petrol and diesel cars, I would worry a little bit that they weren't 100% up to speed with, with how to do it properly. I've, I've read that EVs need special compressor oil and stuff like that. Not sure if that's 100% true, but it's going to be much easier and not really any more expensive just to take it into Nissan. So I'm quite happy with that. What I won't be getting the sand to fix is the tyre pressure monitoring system because they want £175 to replace the one faulty uh, sensor, which means that one of the wheels isn't sending its tyre pressure to the TPMS system. We'll find a cheaper way to fix that, I think. For now, I've managed to turn the, the warning light off using Leaf Spy. You can clear the, the fault. Uh, so the warning's not on for now. Obviously, it does mean that that wheel isn't being monitored, so I need to keep checking the tyre pressure manually, but... That'll do for now, I think. Uh, I've also managed to get the horn working, which was a little bit of a result. Uh, it turned out that the, the horn itself was faulty. So uh, I've just bought a cheap, it's actually a motorbike horn from Amazon. And I have cable tied it to the original horn and plugged it in. It'll do for now. Uh, it looks like to properly get access to the horn, to remove it and replace it, you would need to take the front bumper off. Whereas I managed to get to the wiring enough to plug it into a new one and cable tie it in place by just reaching up underneath the bumper. That will do for now. It it works. It's road legal. That's all we're going for. Uh, and I've ordered a glove box handle from AliExpress, which will hopefully fix the glove box. But for now, I've deployed a similarly dodgy fix to that just to stop it flapping around when you're driving down the road. So I'm quite happy with that. So that is it for this video. Just a quick update on my 188,000 mile Nissan ENV200, which has a battery health well in excess of what I think I expected. Let me know what you think in the comments. Was 83% state of health better or worse than you were expecting it to be? I'd be really interested to hear your thoughts. 
Next time, I will probably set about actually cleaning this van up a little bit. The paintwork needs a little bit of love. Uh, where you can see where all the old sign writing has been and stuff like that, I think we can definitely make that a little bit better. It looks like it's going to be sticking around for the future, uh, and I've got one or two ideas about how we can make the most of it. So do make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on if you want to hear more about my time with this Mega Mile electric van. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.